Okay, welcome to TBS TV number four. Today we're with Angelo DiCarlo, Ace Boxing Promotions, the be uh, Brisbane's best promoter. Welcome, Angelo. Welcome, Gareth. So, we've got a big fight night coming up on uh, June the 4th. June the 4th. Um, the exciting night. Time. Can you tell us a bit about it? Yeah, me and Phil Tavern, we've got a cruiserweight Australian title. It's been a while getting this one over the line, obviously, with Danny Green wanting to come back into the mix of the cruiserweights. So that will probably happen after this fight. Um, we're not sure what's going to happen there, but um, at this stage, it's Jamie Porter and Aaron Russell who have deserved the right to be there, rated number two and three in Australia. So we'll see what happens there. Excellent, that's a cracking fight. Do you think uh, Danny Green would be interested in the winner? Look, um, at this stage, I think that he's after the uh, previous uh, Australian champion, which was Kane Watts. Right, yeah. but, uh, look. I know these boys would be willing to take that uh, challenge up as well, both of them. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's going to be an amazing fight. June 4, Mansfield Tavern. Also on the card is Dave, uh, Dave Mullaby. Uh, uh, Mullaby, yeah, who's uh, dabbled in both uh, you know, kickboxing and boxing. So uh, former Commonwealth uh, representative, Commonwealth Games representative. So it's going to be an interesting fight. Two massive punches in this uh, fight so it could go either way. Yeah I think people in the pro game have seen Dane knocking people out and they're excited by that but obviously you and myself have known from the amateur days where he can box, he went in the Commonwealth Games, just bangers don't get in the Commonwealth Games you know. Well to be honest he's going to have to box in this because in the other corner is a, also another banger you know somewhere yeah. that can bang and so it's uh, certainly going to be fireworks. I don't believe it will go the distance. Uh, even though it's only a five round, I don't see it going the distance. Yeah, that's right. See, so there's a couple of other up and coming kids on the show as well. We've got James McDonald, Liam Paro, Reagan Deso. They're all, they're all good luck. Yeah, Reagan Deso, 6 and 0, undefeated, uh, fighting the current uh, New Zealand champion. Um, it's going to test him. I know they fought in the Golden Gloves as, as amateurs, and it was a good fight. So we'll see how, who's developed into a better pro. Uh, Jason McDonald, obviously, been very hard to get in fights. He's now fighting an international opponent um, with a 50-50 record, so we'll see how he goes. He's certainly proven that he's one of the top contenders for the super, middle, uh, super featherweight division. Um, who else do we have? We've got Mark Flanagan, who in my opinion is probably one of the strongest cruiserweights out there at the moment, looking to make a name for himself on the world stage now. So he's gone past the Aussie level. So I suppose uh, Flanagan will be somebody He'll, he'll be looking at the name Danny Green as well, but if, if he can get it across the line, but that'll be the sort of things he's chasing. Yeah, yeah look, it's probably a fight that Danny Green won't, wouldn't yeah. want at this stage of his career, you know. Yeah. Um, uh, I know Mark would want it, it won't happen, but, you know, but nevertheless, you know, Mark will go about uh, getting regional titles and hopefully be in, um, you know, in the next 18 months fighting for a world title. Oh, well, that'd be excellent. So, which, uh, sorry, has he already fought for a regional title, Mark? Yeah, he's fought for uh, regional titles. He fought for the WBC, Barber. Is he you know, currently so holding that one? No, he's not, no. Because as, as you know, he had 18 months off. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Um, so he's only had one fight back. This is his second fight back. And um, we're laying out challenges to any cruiserweight in this country. Um, so anybody that wants to fight him, here he is, Mark Flanagan. Anybody at all. You heard so, that? Step up. Yeah. Step up if you want to fight Mark Flanagan. Big puncher. Um, and also, he can box too, you know, because he, he was solid light heavy as well, wasn't he? Yeah, he was a good light heavy, but obviously struggled to make weight. Was coming down from 100 kilos. He's now in a new camp with, uh, you know, John Bastel with Boxing Express. Also, my son Alfie's helping him over there. So, uh, between the two of them, I'm sure they're giving him something different. Um, Dennis Clancy's still involved. Yep. Um, but obviously, he moved to Brisbane knowing that this is where he's uh, maybe progressed his career in the right, uh, the right way. Yeah, excellent. So for people watching, um, I'm guessing contact the boys on Facebook or anything, yeah, contact yourself. Yeah, or, or you know, 0414 um, Got a couple of really cracking girl fights on the night. Uh, uh, Dee Hobbs is fighting. She's having a pro debut, so she's fighting an international opponent as well. You've got um, April Adams fighting. Um, Julie this, Livett, she yeah, fighting Julie Livett. Julie Livett, it's a rematch. Yeah. The first one was a war. I'm tipping that to be possibly fight of the night, so we'll yeah. see what happens there. You know? uh, I know Dee Dee uh, trained with Russell Finn. Um, 
She's still with Russell? Yeah, she's still yeah, with yeah. Russell. Yeah, Russell's a former great pro back in the days when Daniel Lottie and those guys are all fighting around. So yeah, he's, he's from the old school, he's Russell. He's a good guy. Yeah, so he's good, you know. We've also got a Queensland title, junior middleweight. Um, Adrian Rodriguez, sorry, is fighting. Um, so yeah, that's going to be interesting what happens there as well. Yeah, cool. A Adrian Rodrig Rodriguez, is he, who's he with Harry Costi at the yeah, moment? Yeah, Adrian Rodriguez is with Harry Costi, so yeah. we'll see what happens there. I mean, he's in with uh, Ma Max Wawinski, so that's going to be an interesting fight. So both of them are push forward fighters, so interesting to see what happens. Yeah, good fight. So thanks for your time, Angelo. Thank you very much. Okay, no